I'm just saying. Hold on, hold on. You're good. John wants to be up on stage. Let's be honest. Hello. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. He yeah, actually wasn't my team. We are gathered here today to honor a special You're good. that began 15 long years ago, all the way back to 2003. Back then, a 21 year old girl from Wisconsin named Chana Ball had just finished up her late night shift giving out free shots as a stripper. And she decided to meet up with her friends Josh Hoover and Amy Vickers. Yeah, Josh. Yeah, yeah Amy. Named Jillian's. No longer in business. <laughs> At Jillian's that night was an overly confident young bachelor. <laughs> most, most likely wearing Woo! something from Abercrombie and Fish. Guaranteed. Oh! Guaranteed. Named Tyler Handler. Who was out chasing skirt and having a good time with the boy. It's good quality. As Chana, as Chana describes in her own words that night, quote, Tyler was pretty drunk and the loudest guy at the bar. Stand and I was immediately attracted to him. I had never seen a guy so confident, hilarious, and entertaining, all wrapped into one. I tried flirting with him, but I don't think he really noticed that I mentioned he was loud and drunk. He told me he was selling advertising at 1077 The End. And I just so happened to be interning at Como TV and looking for a job. Perfect, I thought. Maybe this guy will help me. He gave me his card and told me I could interview to be his assistant. <laughs> awesome. Well played, well played. So at the end of the night, I was saying goodbye and he hollered, hey Smirnoff girl, why don't you make me breakfast? <laughs> I was instantly annoyed. Just another drunk guy thinking I'd go home with him. No, I don't want to go home with you. <laughs> what an ass. And he said, no, I don't want you to go home with me. I just want somebody to make me some breakfast because I'm hungry. <laughs> I thought, what the hell? This guy is insane. <laughs> well, sweet smart off child did not go home with Abercrombie Tyler that night, and the chase was on. Later on, they did end up meeting for coffee to talk about that assistant position <laughs> Tyler was trying to fill, and she discovered a different side to him. We met for coffee, and he was a totally different guy. Charming, sweet, kind of serious about work, and not nearly as loud. I was very intrigued. After that coffee date, he went back and told his friend, Eric Olison, he was a smitten kitten. Oh. Very cute. Fast forward five years later, they would marry. Ten years after that, we find ourselves here tonight, celebrating a decade of true love and hundreds of trips to Las Vegas. Very true. So, for tonight, I asked Chana to list some of her all-time favorite Tyler stories. There's a few. Uh -oh. There was that time when Tyler won the homecoming king in high school, and the crown they gave him was too big for his head. <laughs> and when they printed the picture of him in the newspaper the next day, his friend's mom saw it and commented on how sweet it was that they voted for a Down syndrome boy. <laughs> <laughs> it was cancer. It was cancer. Cancer patient. Cancer. That's bad. <laughs> Then there was that time on Cinco de Mayo when he put a creepy mustache on and sat in the corner drinking Tecate and told our sweet young babysitter he was going to watch her babysit for the evening. Then there was that time on his 30th birthday when he found a fake crown at the winery we went to and he put it on and was running around yelling, I'm Burger King, bitches! And jumped on top of a car and dented it in. Dave Carl! <laughs> <laughs> and then there was that time he got kicked out of a Vegas souvenir shop because he kept pushing Janae into all the suitcases over yeah. and over again. And when he got kicked out of a casino for taking a drink off the cocktail waitress's tray when she walked by. And when he got kicked out of another casino for throwing off some random guys and taking his shirt off. Which time? 
and when he got kicked out of the royal unicorn for taking his shirt off yet again, <laughs> cussing into the mic, my and parents are here. <laughs> cussing into the mic and calling the karaoke host a black widow. Black widow! Black widow! <laughs> she was we can go on and on. But at the end of the day, this celebration tonight is about true love. Spur me down, guys. Chana describes Tyler like this. He is a combo of a completely crazy party man that will do anything to assure everyone has a good time to the most loyal, consistent person I know. I've never met anyone else like him. Just when I think I haven't figured out, he surprises me. I'll never go a day without laughing or feeling so incredibly happy that I have him. He knows me so well. He knows that if he gave me too much attention or smothered me, I would run. <laughs> So he lets me be me, sassy and independent. And I love that when I'm not around, I know that he dotes on me to other people. I love that he does that. He's the father I always wanted to raise my children with. He's hilarious and can get the kids laughing, but he's also the disciplinarian and will be the bad guy so I don't have to be. He's consistent, loving, funny, and intense, all wrapped into one. And if any girl's ever seen him karaoke, they know why I love him as much as I do. Yes, sir. And this event tonight obviously was a surprise for Tyler, so I couldn't ask him for his list of things he loves about Shauna, but I can tell you some of the things he said over the years. There's no one he would rather spend his time with than her. She keeps life fun and entertaining for everyone, and he can't imagine what life would be like without her. She's his best friend, his partner in crime, and the one who always knows how to make him laugh. <laughs> Life is so easy because of her. She's an incredible mother to their kids. She's a world-class planner and organizer. She's always responsible when someone needs to be, and she's hotter than he could have ever imagined. <laughs> I honestly can't count the number of times over the years we've heard him say how lucky he is. True story. So from the perspective of all of us, your friends, the two of you are a perfect match, and we love you like crazy. So, let's renew your wedding vows. Oh my gosh. If anyone here has reason why these two should not stay in the now or hold the peace for 10 more years. Okay. Do you, Tyler, promise to love and cherish Chana for another 10 years, and promise to take her other places on vacation besides Las Vegas, <laughs> to be a little less neat freak and a little more late night Romeo, to let her be the hungover spouse once in a while yeah. who sleeps in after too many vodka rentals, to pay for upgrades to her boobs at any time she is necessary, <laughs> and to always acknowledge that you married way out of your league. If so, say I do. Of course I do. <laughs> Chana, do you promise to love and cherish Tyler for another 10 years? To help him keep his shirt on in public places? <laughs> to watch the kids when his bros need him to come golf with us? To make sure his spray tan is always fresh and on the <laughs> To continue sending him new pics that he gets to brag about to his buddies? <laughs> My parents are here! <laughs> And to always remind him that he married way out of his head. If so, say I do. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Right. Now they exchange and renew their vows. Please raise your glass. To another ten years of Chana and Tyler Hamburg. 